Hi, welcome to the introduction of Algodocs. With Algodocs, you can easily convert your documents into the structured data with no coding at all. You can extract data with high accuracy from virtually any document. So let's begin. You can use File Manager to upload your documents manually by right-clicking on any folder. You can create more folders and subfolders and keep your uploaded documents organized. Convert PDF or Image to Editable Files option can be used for simply converting your PDFs or images into Microsoft Word, Excel, text, and other editable files. This option converts your documents by preserving the original layout of your documents. For extracting specific fields or tables from your documents and getting structured data as a result, you need to select Upload Files for Data Extraction option. This option requires an extractor to be created before you can upload your files. If you already have an extractor, you can upload a file to the existing extractor from your device folder. For this demonstration, we are going to create an extractor in the Extractors page and upload our files for extracting data from them. I will use a generic patient information sheet and an Algodocs invoice for this demonstration. I will name it Algodocs invoice and upload a sample file. We click the Manage button to head to the Extractor Editor to begin capturing our data. We will begin by selecting the extraction method we want. Algodocs provides two approaches for extracting data from your documents, which are AI-based data extraction and rule-based data extraction. Under AI-based data extraction, we will select the custom model, as this allows us to train an AI model for capturing data from single and multi-layout documents. We can see the sample document we used in creating the extractor being processed. Getting AI custom model ready requires two mandatory steps, labeling and the training of the labeled documents. The next step is to add more sample documents for labeling, and then we can proceed to training the model. With our documents uploaded, we are going to begin adding fields to label the data we want captured. We also specify their data types, which are fields, tables, and selection mark. We add invoice date. Next, we add customer number. We repeat the same process for all required fields. Finally, we add items table. We set 11 columns and name them according to what we have on the document. With our fields created, we start labeling the documents, and we have to do this with accuracy, as the model learns from how we label the documents. When labeling a table, we have two options. One is to use auto-label, the second is to label manually. Let's use auto-label for this demonstration. Now we can see the table is captured correctly, and the column headers are assigned to their appropriate columns. Then we click on the Finish button to see our table populated. Then we move to labeling the remaining documents following the same process. With all the documents labeled, we head to the Training tab to commence the training. There are two training models available in Algodocs, Single Layout Training, for training your AI model to detect documents with same layout, while with Multi-Layout Training, you can train your AI model to detect same fields for documents with different layouts. Since our labeled documents have one layout, we will use the Single Layout Training model. The training is started and on average takes three to five minutes. The training is completed and we can head to the post formatting option where we can add filters to the extracted data. We can select any of the fields from the drop down to apply desired filters. This is optional so we can skip it. We exit the custom model and head to file manager to upload more files for testing the extractor. We right-click on the desired folder to upload files. Then we select the extractor from the extractor list and upload the files from our device. With the files uploaded, we head to Extracted Data section. We select the folder which the documents was uploaded to and the extractor. Now we see the extracted data from our test files. We can bulk export to Excel or single file export to Excel, JSON XML, or CSV. 
Now we can see the extracted data from all our sample documents. Let's create an extractor using AI table detection. We name the extractor and upload the sample file. The extractor is created and we dive into the extractor editor to add the fields. We select the table extraction method and we can see a preview of the sample file. After the document is processed, we can now add filters for capturing the table. With automatic table detection, we can capture tables by manual selection, table size, and table contents. We can also preview the extracted tables. With manual selection, we select the table from the dropdown and apply filters. For table size, we input the minimum, maximum, or equal number of rows and columns the desired table should have. And with table contents, we get to input a search phrase that can be found in the table we want captured. We can then name and save this field. Then we head to Extracted Data to see our captured table. We can preview the table and also export to any of the file format available. Now let's create a hybrid extractor for capturing data using key value pairs and queries. We follow the same process of naming the extractor and selecting a sample document. With the extractor created, we can now add the fields we want captured. We start with form data extraction for capturing key value pairs. We can see the data properly captured, with keys on the left column and their values on the right. We can add filters for further processing, but for now we will name and save this field. Now let's add a second field using queries extraction method. We input our query and we hit submit. The result of the query is returned and we can name and save this field. We can exit the editor, then head to Extracted Data section to see the extracted data. We can export and view the extracted data in Excel. We can also upload more files to this extractor for data extraction. Moreover, we can use Algodocs integrations for automating the import of files to Algodocs and fetching extracted data from Algodocs. For any questions and support, please contact support at algodox.com. Thank you for watching.